In this quick video, I'll show you how to count for the correct number of significant digits, also known as significant figures. The following rules are used to help determine the number of significant figures, which we'll denote as SF, and we'll refer back to these five rules as we do the examples. So let's start with question number one. The question reads, determine the number of significant figures in each of the following cases. So starting with A, this number has three significant figures. And if we were to expand this number into its standard form, it would equal to 4, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, because 4.30 had a decimal in between the 4 and the 3, it has three significant figures. But in this case, it's not in scientific notation. So this one right here would only have two significant figures because these zeros are insignificant. Whereas in the original, that zero was deliberately placed there. And if it was not significant, the person recording the number would have never added it. So they would have just wanted 4.3 as opposed to 4.30. Let's move on to the next one. 0 0.003011. In this case here, we have four significant figures. This time, this zero is considered to be significant because it is within the number. And in our case, that zero is in between the three and the one, so it's also significant. Moving on to the next example. In C, we have two significant figures. Both the three and the seven are significant. And finally, in our last example, we have four significant figures. Yes, this looks sort of like this, but look, we put a period there. And that period means that you're going to accept all four of those digits. So let's review these rules once more. All non-zero figures are significant. So in our case here, 46.7 we have three significant figures. In the number here, we have 0 0.0045. And the rule says that zeros at the beginning of the number are not significant. Furthermore, this next rule, zeros within a number are significant as shown in example B. And in the next rule, zeros at the end of the number after the decimal point are also significant. So in this case right here, we have 3.600. This would have five. And finally, for whole numbers without a decimal, for example, 27,400, zeros at the end may or may not be significant. And this rule was demonstrated in our last example. For instance, 27,400 has three significant figures, but if it was in this notation where you have 27.40, it has four significant figures. So there you have it. That is how to count the correct number of significant digits. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.